You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the January 18, 2023 meeting of the Michigan City Parks and Recreation Board. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Good evening and welcome to the Michigan City Park Board meeting of January 18th, 2023. If you can please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Shin, can you call the roll, please? Mr. Lackford? Here. Mr. Craig? Here. Mrs. Sperling? Here. Mr. Gooden? Here. Now, before we move on the agenda, I would just like to take a moment and welcome you, Mr. Gooden, to the park board. I look forward to um, tapping your experience and wisdom and guidance and helping the park department become a better place. So, if you, yeah, I don't know Thank if you'd like to say a few words. Well, I appreciate it, Mr. Or Mayor. Uh, Perry's appointment and the opportunity. And I thank Shannon and Ed for trying to fill me in as best they could. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Glad to have you. Glad to have yes. you for sure. All right. The minutes from our previous meeting of Jan meeting of January 4th, 2023 were prepared and presented in advance of the meeting. So unless there are any questions or comments, do we have a motion to approve? I would move you accept the minutes as printed from January 4th. Second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Any project updates or old business? No, sir. All right, we'll move on to table business. We have an election of the park board secretary. I would take some nominations. Uh, I would nominate Mr. Glidden uh, for secretary. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. All right, welcome. Now you see how things roll around here. <laughs> <laughs> we also have an appointment to the Park Board Liaison to the Michigan City Zoological Society. Uh, Mr. Glidden, would you be willing to accept that role? I would. Thank you. Great. Thank you. All right, moving on to new business. <clears throat> the first item is Beyond the Beach Music Festival major event license agreement. Uh, yes, the agreement was included in your packet. This is a third year return event being held on Saturday, July 15th at the Amphitheater. And Victor Thierry is here. Do you have any? Thank you, Shannon. Questions or comments? I do. I'm, I'm totally for this. Um, I had noticed after the meeting last week in the um, packet that uh, a financial report is required of Mr. Thierry. Is that correct? At the end of the season for his events? I believe that's a stipulation one of the contracts. And for a event? For the. For the I'm not sure. Millennium I, Plaza? I, Plaza? I, maybe it was for Millennium Plaza. Yeah. 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 So this is separate from that. Yeah. Okay. This is a standalone event that okay. has nothing to do with this MOU. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. And just for your knowledge, just the major event uh, license agreement is reviewed and approved by the park board and your attorney every year. So this is just a template mm -hmm. um, and the agreement is the same as the last two years. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And it's a great event. Indeed. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Any questions from the whole public? All right, seeing none, what's a pleasure of the board? Uh, I would move to, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we agree with the Beach Music Festival major event license agreement as printed. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Next up is the Burnham Brewing major event license agreement. And that agreement is also in your packet. And Steve Murray is here. If you have any questions, um, this is pretty much the same setup as the Beyond the Beach. However, uh, this particular event will feature craft beers and music, the music festival. It's new to Washington Park. So um, we're excited to bring Burnham on board. And again, Steve, sir, if you have any questions. Thank you, Shannon. Questions or comments from the board? Uh, Shannon, I, isn't this very similar to 
the agreement we had last year. <clears throat> yeah. The template is the same agreement. Okay. But this is a new event. It's not a new event. They've held it um, across the street from their brewery for several years, but it's getting bigger. And I just think, you know, Washington Park is a great venue. And I've also been to that event. It's a good event. Great new event. Any other questions or comments? Any questions from the public? <clears throat> Seeing none, motion from the board. Um, I'm going to move that we, <clears throat> excuse me, accept the Burnham Brewery um, major event license agreement. I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. But good luck to you as well. You're welcome. Next is change order number two for the zoo big cat exhibit. Thank you, Mr. Lashford. You're welcome. Change order number two. Uh, that would be in order form for subcontractor change. So it has nothing to do with the change orders as the contractor is up to number four. So the secondary security fence or the secondary layer of security about 10 or 12 feet outside the main big cat enclosure was designed to be six feet above finished grade. It was the request of the zoo director, Jamie Huss, to revise this fence to the height of eight foot above finished grade. This revision is important to stay within the regulations of the laws governing class one animals, such as lions and tigers. The cost to revise this chain link fence is shown on the change order in your packet of $2,738.13, and that reflects approximately 30 lineal feet on the lion side, including a swinging gate on each side, and 30 lineal feet on the tiger side. I have found this to be a fair price for the above described revision and recommend board approval. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Questions or comments from the board? I'd just like to comment thanks to Ed and Jamie for catching this, uh, the two foot difference that but, you know, with regulations, and uh, if we didn't get it now, we'd have to get it later. That that would be Jamie, Phil, and uh, she's oh, very up on this yeah, job and, and really takes somebody was on the ball. Yeah, heart thank soul. You. Yes, she does. And I assume this still keeps us within our contingency. Yes, on our budget. It does thank you? Any other questions or comments? Questions from the public? Seeing none, do have a motion to approve change order number two for the big cat exhibit? So moved. So second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. All right, we have one other item under new business, and that's the Healthcare Foundation of Laporte Healthy Living Grant Letter of Intent. <laughs> um, yes. So if you recall at the last meeting, I also submitted a letter of intent to the Healthcare Foundation of Laporte for the Singing Sands Trail. And I would like to submit another letter for construction for the Better the Alley Chagrin project that's currently under design. Um, okay, the, the deadline was January 26th for submitting this. Um, so I apologize for bringing it on you tonight, but I thought it was due after the last meeting. So the intent is to ask the foundation to um, award a grant for this project in the amount of half a million to a million dollars. We're not quite sure where we're at yet with that ask. So um, it's our intent when I say our, we have a subcommittee, Don Prince and myself. Um, if they accept the letter of intent and ask us to move into the full grant round, we would um, meet with them and kind of gauge the waters before we send final application. Thank you, Shannon. Questions or comments? Uh, Shannon, uh, is this just going to one? I noticed there were a possibility of what five funding partners would would a letter go to them also? Um, yes, at some point. Some point. Right. That's not the deadline's this coming up quickly. So okay, I, we're not talking about that then. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I, I would think that we're going to have um, probably four or five funding sources to get this project done. So we're working on Water Tower Park right now, and 
The budget for that was half a million, and the costs are coming in at 1.5. So oh, what's going on with inflation? So I think we're going to need to rethink the funding for Fudders and look at probably around 12 million. Wow. When are you hoping to do the project? Um, by the first quarter of 2024. Mm -hmm. So fall, winter, spring. Yeah. The road is wow. in the spring if we find this money. Right. That's yeah. The challenge. Yes. Cool. Hmm. Any other questions or comments? My only comment is this is just another example of Shannon reaching out wherever she can to find grants. And as we know, she's been very successful at it. And again, just want to re reiterate and acknowledge her efforts to help uh, supplement the city's ability to fund some of these projects. So thank you, Shannon. Yeah. Any questions from the public? Seeing, um, I'm sorry, it's okay. Thank you, Mr. Latchford. Shannon, a uh, quick question. And again, I'm, I'm going to say what Phil said, you did a very nice job with this. Do these grants require the survey that we were involved with for the water tower park? And at what point does the survey go out to the public to see what their comments are in the park? So you're asking our survey is going to go out on for the Fetters Alley project? Correct. Yes, absolutely. So a big part of any project like this especially a destination park, is going to be stakeholder input um, and then also public input. Right now, the design is getting close to the rendering stage. Um, it's good to have a visual product to show people when you engage them to get comments. So I'm guessing public comments are going to be starting at probably the next three weeks. Oh, wow. So there'll be some public input session. Mm -hmm. um, at least two, and then one of two, and then we'll do online surveys. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, any questions from the public? Seeing none, do we have a motion to approve the uh, Healthcare Foundation of LaPorte Healthy Living Grant Letter of Intent? I would move we if, um, allow Shannon to send the letter to public health. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Exactly. Before we move on from new business, I also I want to give an opportunity. I, I failed to for Mr. Thierry or Mr. Murray, if you want to give any sort of um, additional detail or anything to help promote your events, you're more than welcome to, either now or in public comment. You no need to, but you're welcome to. All right. All right, Board of Officers, um, Mr. Shin. Thank you, Mr. Latchford. This You're evening, welcome. I would like to report on park maintenance and golf maintenance and senior center project. Uh, golf maintenance has been back from vacation since the first of the year. Uh, they're still working on the greens mowers by grounding the mower blades, packing the bearings and whatnot, and we'll soon be putting those machines back together and having them ready for the season. Uh, they have also worked on 64 of the 85 golf carts, reconditioning those with new filters and plugs and throttle cables and whatnot. Uh, also, uh, the golf maintenance fixes the golf carts from the zoo and park maintenance. So they're doing a very good job out there in the winter months as usual. Park maintenance, uh, beginning the process of the breakdown of the holiday lights and cords. This has been a big process. Uh, this year, Mr. Volts and his staff are revamping and updating the older displays as they were brought in after the holiday lights, rather than waiting until right before they go out. And this is another example of adding efficiency. Uh, there's been a lot of sand removal in the parking lot area that blows up into the parking lot. Um, there's been repainting of trash cans. There are uh, 400 trash cans that get repainted every year. And this has been some of the work that goes on during the, the poor weather outside. Picnic tables are complete. 30 picnic tables were reworked. 22 were newly built. And we have a total of 300 picnic tables. And Senior Center Project, uh, I was uh, told that it would be 
wise to find out if the blueprints need to be accepted and approved downstate. And there was some question about that. And I re received report from Mr. Fedorchik, the architect, that we will not to have not need to have the drawings uh, approved downstate. So we can we can continue and proceed with that project. We are now working with ARPA to gain some funds to close the book on all the funding, and then we will set it out for bid. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Questions or comments from the superintendent? I have one. You mentioned uh, we were painting the trash cans for the beach. We had a gentleman um, come to a meeting. I'm trying to remember his name, Mr. Ducey, but recommended that maybe we paint no dogs on some of the trash cans. Did when we were painting, did we accomplish that or could we accomplish we that? Not, but that's something that we should accomplish. I'll okay. write that down and make sure that happens on the ones that are on the beach. All right, thank you. Thank you. Uh, any vandalism to report? No vandalism to report, sir. Thank you. So unless there are any other questions for the superintendent, we'll move on to the liaison reports. Uh, the plan commission liaison, uh, there hasn't been a meeting since our last meeting. There's one okay. next week, so I'll report at our next meeting. Uh, Port Authority liaison, Mr. Priest? Uh, there was one, but I was unable to attend. I had minor surgery. All right, thank you. And then the Zoological Society will just wait until our next meeting or the next zoo. I think they take a few months off during this time anyway. All right, next up is the attorney's report, Mr. Friedman. Good evening, everyone. I'm in covering tonight for Laura, who's a bit under the weather and sends her best, looks to be back in. Uh, soon enough. I uh, just wanted to report, I attended with uh, Superintendent uh, Shin a uh, meeting uh, uh, requested by the mayor on, on some of the issues at Ruby Woods. Uh, we'll be keeping folks informed on, on status uh, regarding regarding those issues. I believe Councilman Presbolinski was on the was on the phone and attended that meeting as well. And we'll probably be reporting back to the rest of the council. But that's uh, that's my report tonight. Thank you. Any other director's reports tonight? No, sir. All right, that takes us to Department of Finance. Mr. Glidden. The Michigan City Park Department claims docket for January 18th, 2023. Municipal, $66,262.34. Golf Petty Cash, zero. Zoo Casino, EFT, $100,000. Total claims, $166,262.34. And the motion to approve. In the form of a motion to approve. In the form of a motion to approve. Thank you. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. And then we have payroll number one. We can just put down the agenda. So next would be payroll number one. Is that just the total then? Okay. The payroll number one, 2023, uh, for the pay period 12 25 22 to 1 7 23, pay date 1 13 2023, the total payroll $59,390.18. And I would like to move on to the payment. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The uh, Department of Finance's minor transfer approval, minor transfers from the zoo fund, decrease amount for seasonal wages, $2,038. Decrease amount health insurance, $6,769. Decrease amount electric, $50. Increase amount overtime, 66, or excuse me, $6,679. Increase amount contractual, $50. Increase amount regular wages, $2,038. Maintenance fund. Decrease amount other supplies, $600. Increase amount Christmas supplies, $600. Bell fund. Decrease amount water, $26. Increase amount electric, $26. In the form of a motion, 
I move we approve that. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. So you may have some Zoom endowment bills or Board of Works bills. I'm sorry, we have gifts and donations. This. Yeah. Uh, gifts and donations from more investments, miscellaneous zoo donation, $50. Anonymous miscellaneous park donation, $17. And credit card charges, credit card charges totaling $4,000. $186.36 were paid to corporate payment systems for the following. Webrestaurantstore.com for zoo concession items, $4,117.29. Michigan City Animal Hospital for zoo medicine for animals, $69.07. Thank you. So do we have a motion to approve the reports of gifts and donations and credit card charges? <laughs> Oh, would you move? Uh, second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Right. So that brings us to public comment. Any public comment tonight? Yes, sir. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Bruce Manor, Michigan City Port Authority here. Hello. I'm just curious as as have we made any uh, uh, progress in uh, hiring a manager for the golf course? I've had a lot of people ask me questions about that, and I don't know the answers to any of them. So I don't know if we've made any any uh, progress on that or not, or whether we decided to hire a pro or where do we stand with that? Mr. Thank Shane. you. That's a good question, Mr. Manor. We sent a posting out a month ago and didn't have a lot of luck with applicants and found that we were having an issue selling merchandise out of the clubhouse by a contractor. We've decided to go with an employee for more accountability. We're hoping that the existing current or past pro will apply as well. We're looking for an employee to replace the position of, not the person. So we revised the posting to eliminate compensation to the prospective employee. And the posting is now out and I'm receiving applicants, not many, but it just, it just went out. So I'll be interviewing next week and we're hoping to have a good season with a full pro shop. Any other public comment or question? See none? I will oh, do. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. just, just wanted to say, and I guess there's no time like the president way to throw Mr. Glidden right into the fire tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was enjoying this down here. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, any board comment tonight? I do have one. Um, I just want to say about the Vernon Brewing Brewing Bash. Um, I just want to express my personal opinion that I think the 420-ish part of your title is not a good thing. And I just hope that you would consider removing that from your title, um, whether it's by this April here, or for sure by the next one. I, I From what I hear, it's a wonderful event. And I'm I'm proud to say that you guys are in Michigan City. I think it's super cool that we have our own brewing company here. And I know you guys have become very successful and you're very well respected in so many ways. Um, I just find the 420s to be distasteful and just um, a negative influence on those who might read that sign. And um, I just want to say that. And like that, and I don't want to see anything take away from what you guys do. Because I think what you do is awesome and um that just adds another thing to it um so i just want to make that comment okay 
Thank you. Any other board comments? Yeah, I'd like to welcome Tim to the to the board. First day was pretty good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so then our next meeting is Wednesday, February 1st, 5 p.m. right here. Motion to adjourn. So moved.